go. What is up everybody? So I'm out this morning. Uh, redo again to try to see if I can't catch some channel cat this morning. Show you some early summer channel catfish tips. So uh, I'm going to get out and see if I can't find some fish and uh, we'll get started. There we go. A little old channel cat. Keeper fish. We don't have real big channel catfish here. This is that old CJ's punch bait that I'm using. Shad flavor. I don't think it really matters. There's a bunch of different flavors. They all seem to work. morning that bobber's kind of hard to, to watch there um, it's moving around so much these big waves but I'm just kind of throwing it up right on the corner of this little rock point and kind of letting it drift through here fish have really kind of been behind schedule still this year we had such unseasonably cool water seems like every time I drift right about through there I catch one so I'm just kind of casting and letting it float down Another little one. That one was barely hooked. That fish would keep. It broke my hook off. Put a fresh hook on there. I'm just using a braid. This is a number six. Um, 4x strong treble hook you got to use these these 4x treble hooks this is a Daiichi treble they're more expensive than the little old cheap you know 1x and 2x hooks that you'll find but they'll last 10 times longer so they actually save you money in the long run and then I just got a couple little split shots on here, just enough to hold it up. And a little old cheap foam split bo slip bobber. And uh, I usually use that secret catfish rig you can get on my website. I'm using these old slip bobbers. And, uh, they work pretty good too. They're just not nearly as sensitive is that secret catfish rig and these this punch bait you know it sticks to a bare treble hook you just stick it down in the bait kind of smooth the bait over and pull the hook out shake the excess off and you're good i almost missed that one too much slack in the line. That's a little old bitty fish right there. Short. They have to be 12 inches to keep here. And uh, that one wouldn't make it. I'm not keeping any fish, but uh, we just don't have real big 
you know, channel catfish here in, in Texas and most lakes, you know, most lakes around North Texas here where I fish, you know, there's tons of one to two pound channel cat. You know, you'll catch some bigger, you know, three and four pound fish. And once you start to get up over four and five pounds, um, you know, those, those fish become pretty rare in the four to five pound range. Just don't see a whole lot of them on most of our lakes. Um, you know, especially fishing like this, you know, fishing this punch bait usually catching these smaller fish and uh, but it's a great way to catch a lot of numbers of fish you know if you want to catch a bunch of channel catfish um, you know for something for a fish fry um, <clears throat> looking for a way to get some kids out and I missed that one too that slack in the line is really causing problems for me. I'm gonna go a little bit further up right here and I'm gonna get upwind and try to see if I can keep that line a little bit tighter. There we go. Another little old bitty one. This kind of happens, you know, you'll start catching fish and you'll catch some good fish and then you'll start catching these little old small short fish and they can be pretty frustrating. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. There's a bite right there. There we go. Oh, another little tiny fish. It can be really frustrating some days trying to, to sift through them. And uh, weed out those little ones. There we go. This is not the ideal way to do this. You really should use a stick or a big flathead screwdriver. I like to use a paint stir stick, but I didn't have any sticks on the boat. I lost it the other day. Got my thumb on the spool here, and I'm just kind of feeding it a little bit of line at a time, trying to let it drift down there. another one pretty good action for the morning catching these channel catfish on slip bobbers certainly not the best channel catfish action i've ever been into but it was a good steady bite considering the conditions that we've been fishing in lately i'll take it i headed out to go see if i could catch some white bass after the fish slowed down in this first area that i was fishing caught a few really small white bass but uh had a severe weather alert go off on my phone yet again so I bolted, got off the water just in time, was very fortunate. Unfortunately, there were some other people that got caught in it and it was a pretty bad storm. Uh, a lot of boats damaged and actually had somebody drowned um, in the severe weather and high winds. So thanks for joining me. I'll be back next week with some more fishing tips and action. Got some special stuff coming up, so be sure you stay tuned. If you hadn't done so already, make sure you like this video, subscribe, hit that little bell icon so you get notifications. Till next time, I'm Chad Ferguson, catfishedge.com.